Hello and welcome to another Day Z Loot Run video. This one is on Spaggies again. Spaggies Vanilla Livonia though. A couple of people asked for some Livonia Loot Run videos. Just as we get started, I'm pretty sure I'm in Sabotka. Yes, we are in Sabotka. Let me just say, if you're a fan of the Daisy Intens series, then Daisy Intens Michael, simply called Michael, this series, is being worked on, and will be with you guys very shortly. But the other thing I want to mention, right at the beginning, right for, right off the bat, is that in the UK it is the Easter holidays, so the kids are off school, which is making me. A little bit nervous about jumping into an intense video and then I might have to stop the recording halfway through because one of the kids needs something so I'm not too fussed when it comes to the loot videos the loot run videos but I do apologize if there is any background noise then that's probably what it is one of the kids playing up and it is what it is I thought I'd just try and get a loot run done anyway just, just so there's some content going out for you guys this week. It's not a bad start. We've picked up a shotty with a buckshot in it. And you've got a couple of choices if you spawn in Sabotka. Over the bridge that way is Brenner. But if you're on a vanilla server like this one, or official, I quite like a Sabotka spawn. There's quite a few houses, cars, sheds, etc. that we can loot up this main road. There's also a ton of zombies, usually that we can maybe farm for some food and supplies if we can take them on one by one as the, the usual sort of strategy that I'd like to employ and look at that they may be battered but at least they're an early very good melee weapon the brassies when we get up to the top of the road I'll show you why I quite like a Sabotka spawn it sets you up potentially for a nice run down south with some decent weapons I can hear the chicken in the background. So that could be our first real bit of food and some bone hooks. If we can get a blade. We'd only need rope then to be able to fish. Oh shit. There's one real close. There's a couple of chickens. It's quite a low pop server at the minute. I'm recording this quite early in the morning in the UK again because we want to try and get it done before all the kids wake up and start making a racket I love it when it does that it just drops the pants away from you so you can't gather what was inside them love that little bit of quirkiness about Daisy not It's nice playing this on a vanilla server because I've been playing a lot of Cult of Livonia, as you might have seen on some of my other videos, and that is hardcore when it comes to finding food anyway. No chickens, no domestic animals on that, on that server, so you wouldn't be getting chickens as easy as I just did. But we're still looking for our first can of food or can of soda. It's not been an exceptional start on that front. Let's see if we can get lucky in one of the one or two of these houses up here. With it being low pop, there's only about 15 other people on the server at the same time as me at the time of recording now. I'd be really disappointed if I start don't start don't start to find a couple of decent items. There's something I can carry some more items with straight off the rip. It's not my favorite backpack by any means. As we have a bit of lag there, so we'll just wait for that to sort itself out. And when it comes to see, if I sprint over and start attacking this head here now, this one's going to be straight on me. So I might as well get over here. I know it's only going to take a few hits and he's down. He says. There you go. Now they start giving out. And if during that fight, this guy had of noticed me like he has now at least I would have got a few shots in on that other one and I wouldn't be fighting two fresh ones straight off the rip come on then you gonna aggro oh, there we go see how I've stood still there 
waiting before I antagonize the Zed, waiting for my stamina to replenish. Because then I can hit him with two, three, four power hits straight off the rip. Let's get that jacket on. Let's get our first bit of food down us. The old Pajka. Oh, look at this blade as well. Now we're rocking. <laughs> we can cut up stuff for rags to make hand wraps. We can cut up our chicken and prepare that. Now, I think someone has come through here recently. My, my main instinct and reason for saying that is there are normally a ton of Zeds along this road. Particularly on this sort of area around that white car. I'd be surprised if there's not five or six Zeds there, so... We need to be wary. Not everyone's friendly on Daisy. Oh, look at that. A zombie with his elbows up. So there's our evidence. That somebody has indeed been through. Oh, shit. We don't need the torch. We don't know what those person's intentions are. As they don't know mine either. So let's deal with our zombie friends in the bush. Let's go and have a look at the well. The well is by here. Top of the hill. I'm scanning ahead. Because that person who was in front of us is not far away. Pick up a small stone. We can turn that into a knife later down the line. We have got one shotty round, remember, but if they get the drop on us, we've got no ballistic protection, so we'd be in a bit of a bit of a bit of a pickle, let's be honest. If we were gonna be aggressive towards someone, it would be the usual rules that I go through, the usual checklist in my head. Do they look an imminent 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 threat to me? Do we need to take them out first before they get the drop on us? Do they look like they've got a stack of gear on them that I could really do with that would be helpful? Just having a little scan around before I use the well. I mean, if someone's holding an angle on this and they pop us, then okay, good luck to them. That's the way they want to play it. GG's. But I need this well. There's a little bit of distance between us and the next one. We haven't got a water carrying device at the minute. We haven't got a bottle, a canteen, a pot. So we need to take a big slurp out of this one. We can get some hydration from the chicken when we cut that up and cook it. But this well is going to give us the most hydration, obviously, of anything we're going to come across in the next sort of 10 minutes or so, unless we get really lucky with sodas or beers. But I wonder if that guy has got the same plan as us. If you look at the hunting shop that's in front of me, look what's on the horizon behind it. The prison. Where are you going to get stab vests, press vests, potentially. SSG sniper rifles, pump action shotguns, pioneer sniper rifles, M locks, scorpions. I've even. Bef have. Is it this one? This prison? No, it's not the Livonia prison. It's, I'm thinking of the, Chin the Chinaris prison. Where I've had M16s. No, it's not this prison. Because this prison hasn't got as many military barracks around the back that spawn good stuff. The real good stuff. But if this dude has gone in the same direction as us. Dudes. Potentially. We could be in for a fun time. Go into the prison. And why not? That's what Daisy's all about. There's a cow in the distance. I mean, if you wanted to be real Mr. Survival and you were going to carry this run on for as long as possible, potentially going all the way down south to the bunker, towards the bunker, then you might want to go and shoot that cow and get some nice early food. I was hoping that flag would be pristine so I could cut it up for the rags, but there you go. See if we can get some rags in these houses instead. Just a little bit more food. A can of something would be huge. 
you're not going to get a lot of food at the prison. You'd have to be very lucky for one of the Zeds to maybe drop a can of bacon or tuna. Uh, I can see our rags. Pristine as well. So before we go on any further, let's do a bit of prep work. The spare rag we get out of this, we can use as an emergency bandage. But the first thing we want to do is make the hand wraps. There's another shotty there. It might be in better condition than the one we've got. It might even have another round in it. It's not in better condition, and it doesn't have another round in it, okay? Now we've got the hand wraps, we can cut up the chicken. We don't have to worry about getting bloody hands. So let's do that. Let's do a little bit of organizing. This is not our end game clothing by any stretch, but look at that, just the two bits of chicken. Cheers, boss. Better than nothing, though. Two bits of chicken. Three bones. So we know we've got three potential bone hooks there. For fishing. Or one hook, two knife. Uh, two ni one hook, one knife. Depends what you want to do with it. This server does allow base building, so we've got to be careful of any potential bases in the area who could be just stacked out of their minds geared out of their brains looking to bully people who've just spawned in with nothing but you can also see that as an opportunity of getting super geared quickly if you can blast them with your one shotgun round we don't like motorbike helmets no 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 We may, not, may have to take a risk. When it comes to our food, we may have to risk killing as many Zeds as we can, sensibly, up at the prison, and hoping one of them, or two of them, drop something edible. Or, do we find the person who aggroed that zombie back there? I'm tempted to take that pickaxe, but I don't want it weighing me down on my back. Nothing in the car, nothing in there. Okay. An IJ. Powdered milk and it's pretty much full. That's massive. That's huge. That'll pretty much take us up into the white now. The IJ. We've got a few rounds for the IJ so we can actually chamber that. It's not going to do much but it is what it is. We can headshot someone with it for sure if they haven't got any helmet. But if I was going to be Mr. Survival, I'd probably be going to hunt down those cows, but we're not. We are, though. I'm going to head this way. Again, there's the prison through the trees. And we're going to have a little look in this barn. Just going to pop our head in, because they can spawn double barrel shotguns. Or single shot shotguns these days. Nothing, of course not. But we have got some rope. So now we've got the ability to fish. So, other than players killing us now, or us getting really silly around a horde of Zeds and dying a ridiculous way, maybe getting daisied, stuck under the map, stuck on an object... I wouldn't be f I wouldn't be worried about my survival prospects at all now because I have bones and I have fish uh, f rope to turn into a fishing rod. I've got a knife to dig up worms and to turn the chicken bones into bone hooks. So we're pretty much set. My plan now would be to loot the prison, get out of there alive, and then go south to the nearest water source that I know of, fish cook up, fill our belly, and we're absolutely set for a trip down south to Nadbor, Swarog, Pavlova, maybe we get lucky and see a, sp a convoy spawn. 
so we can get a punch card. This jacket's badly damaged. Take that road flare. Means we can light a fire easy. We're going to take this jacket. We're going to take it for its capacity. Look, it's got 42 capacity. Even though it's in bad condition. We've got duct tape on us. So, we can pimp it up a little bit. We just need some better pants and a better hat. Some real gloves and some boots and we'll be fine. It's not a lot. It's not a lot to ask for. Let's repair this CUU jacket completely up to worn. We'll still have some use left on the duct tape. Yeah, about half. That's better. Your boy's looking... Oh my god, look at this. I'm not even going to use the gun cleaning kit on my weapons because I'm thinking if we get up to the prison let's say the guy who was in front of us or people who were in front of us let's say they've already gone to the prison and left or they didn't even bother going to the prison they went somewhere else altogether then there's a good chance of us finding damaged weapons in the prison that are better than the damaged weapons I've got now so I want that full gun cleaning kit to be able to pimp them back up to warn so they're not going to jam on us in a gunfight or if or if we find something like an M lock which is worn or pristine but then we only find damaged M lock mags then we're going to want to pimp them up with the, the gun cleaning kit so if you just sort of in your mind remember where you saw the prison sticking out of the trees because it is going to disappear the closer you get you just want to be heading uphill and when you're a solo you haven't got many weapons you haven't got like a suppressed machine gun or a suppressed handgun with a ton of ammo. You don't want to be walking through the main gate of the prison along the main road which goes sort of that way up to the prison. Because you tend to find you'll run into 10, 15, 20 Zs. So we're going to try and do it a little bit stealthy, he says. Hotkey our knife as well, which we can use to stealth kill the Zeds. And even though we don't like sprinting when we haven't had a ton of food early life, I don't really want to be jogging through these trees much because there could be geared players coming from Gleniska up to the prison, leaving the prison back down towards Sabotka. And when we get to the prison itself, we want to be a bit sneaky sneaky so we can listen. Is there anybody fighting Zeds inside? Can we hear people reloading magazines inside? Should be quite interesting. Should be, it's always quite exciting coming up to this prison. Particularly if you're a freshie, you've only got one shot in a, and a dream in a shotgun. You never know what's going to happen. Could get completely obliterated, but... You never know until you try. And we've got nothing to lose. We're only 18 minutes into this life. So why wouldn't we? come up to the prison now we're all our vitals are in the white like I said that powdered milk was massive and you're sort of just looking at the lie of the land and see see as it rises up you are just following the hill up the prisons at the top of it like I say keep an eye for movement in the trees because this place is really popular Particularly with people who are like half an hour, hour into their first spawn. Or they're sp they've just spawned in, in Brenna, Gleniska, Sabotka, back where we were. Because it's so close, the prison. It's an almost no-brainer why you wouldn't come here and try and get some decent early weapons. Particularly if you plan on going on a big run. As you see these rocks. There we go. There's the fence. We're going to go for the break, for the break in the fence further up and it brings you directly behind the prison okay the main gate is on the far side the main entrance but we're gonna go in here it is we're gonna pull our gun out now while we're far away from the prison so nobody hears us pulling out that gun hopefully the next break in the fence is oh my god so we've, we've had people building bases here, which is not a surprise at all. But the base has been 
I mean, they were really serious, weren't they? They weren't just happy about basing off the main door, for example. They're basing off gaps in the fence. Which has been broken down, though. Which has been raided. I mean, it could turn out that we can't even go into the prison. So I'll show you what I'll do if what I would do if that is the case. And if you play on official or vanilla servers that allow base building, and you play Livonia, you do get clowns that build on the prison. There would be some servers that would have a rule against that, but a lot of the official, well, official won't have a rule, and a lot of the vanilla ones like Spaggies will allow base building on prisons, PDs, military areas. Which is a bit annoying if you're particularly as you're playing as a solo. And it's one of the best places to get early gear in the game. There's Gleniska down there. But if you spawn in Gleniska, you've only got to run across the bridge, across the field, up these rocks, and you're in the prison. And this is where things can get sketchy at the prison. You get this far along the wall. And you're feeling quite confident. You're thinking, okay. Watch what happens when I turn this corner now. Almost guaranteed every time. A couple of Zeds milling around the garages. We've got a watchtower. I can hear Zeds inside. Oh, shit. It looks like it is based off, which is annoying. Or has it been raided? Is it now open? We'll soon find out. That gate looks open to me. It was at one point, though, a huge base. Look at it, watchtowers. So you've got a couple of, you've got an, an L-shaped barrack there that you would ideally want to loot if you come up here. Oh. Gas. It's not hitting us, it's hitting the little military that's down the hill. So that code lock is still on blocking off where the well would be. What about this door? Interesting. Oh shit. Look at this. Tent city. Come on, Mr. Zombie. I don't want to go by those windows if I don't have to. You're making me, aren't you? Of course you are. Oh, he's got a soda for me. That's pretty big. The thing with the gate being there still... Wow, what the hell? This is one of the biggest bases I've ever seen on the Livonia prison. But look. That gate is up. I don't think there's going to be anything in these tents because look, there's a there's an easy way around. Cross the bridge. I'm not even going to go and search those tents a minute. Because ideally... Oh, shit. 
This was stacked at some point, wasn't it? Still got some shit in those as well. Wow. Okay. At one point, this was massively stacked. Look how many barrels and shit they had. A ruined battery. Well, someone griefed them so hard, they had to ruin the one battery they had in the barrel. <laughs> Hope not. But actually, looking at this, there's not a lot of, sp of loot around. Like, if this has been raided a while ago... Loot would now still be spawned in, a, you know, in these buildings. It looks like someone has hit this before us. However long ago it was, it was raided. I'm doing a bit of gardening as well. Yeah, there's literally nothing here. Like you would find some scorpion mags or badly damaged pioneers. There's nothing. Is anyone just up there waiting to fucking snipe us? I'll take a damaged M16 mag. Seeds. Fuck it, let's have our sprite. If anyone takes us out while we're searching the tents, they're not going to get our sprite off us. That's for sure. These guys had a community here. Yeah? Barrels, tents, everywhere. Fair play. They spent some time on this. And then it looks like they had it all taken away from them. Huge car tent, empty. I'm actually going to take these. Gloves. Can I fix them up? Yeah. Thought we could. One of the biggest structures I've seen, though, done on this base, done on this prison, for sure. One of the biggest. When you get unlucky, though, here, like it looks like we're going to get unlucky. show you where I like to go after. Just have a couple of slurps. I'm not going to go mad. So maybe five rotations will do us. Because we, we had our sprite just now. Let's check these tents because whenever you say, oh, there's not going to be anything in these, it's when you walk into a tent and find an M16. But I doubt it. What, they're having a rave? we got glow sticks and an alarm clock to make sure they wake up. Look at that. Rotten food. So it has been a while since anybody who called this home was here, I believe. And of course we can't get out that way. We're going to have to get out the way we came in. Up and over the bridge. And let's see if we can have access at all to the L-shaped barracks and the uh, garages, because they can spawn press vests, the garages, and ammo. They're also a pretty good place to trap the Zeds. Now, stuff can spawn up here. These window ledges 
can be very good spawns for pioneers. Nothing. We're going to hopefully not run into someone camping this. But up on this top ledge, you can get stuff spawning. Shoddies, SSGs, the like. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Say so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Zeds there in a cluster. One on his own over there. Look at that, they've blocked off the holes in the wall that you can crawl under. What about that to the back there? You could jump over if you if you climbed up onto that platform there. But it's fucking risky. Look how many Zeds are down there. See if I told you, if you come up that main road, <laughs> you can get yourself into a lot of bother. Just for maybe finding a pumpy if you're if you're lucky in the in the L-shaped barracks, or sometimes it's not worth it. There's not a lot of Zeds in that compound though because of the way they've barricaded the main gate. And I know they've shut off the majority of the holes at the bottom of the wall that you can usually crawl under. So let's go out the way we came in. Oh, hello. Don't want to spend too long because our food and water is going to be an issue. Like I said, it, we're only doing an hour loop run video, but if we were going to do a longer one, you'd want to get out of your, you know, obviously, before you start starving and thirsting to death. So they've blocked that off. Oh, look at that. They've even blocked this gap in the fence off here. Motherfuckers. Do you know what I'm going to do? We're going to go sneaky mud smuck sneak face. Right? I like a challenge. Now, this could end horrifically. And if it does, I'll probably still post it just for a laugh. We're quite light on our feet. The only issue for us is going to be if we are in direct line of sight of fools like this one coming towards us now. Oh god. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. I'm, there we go. I'm over here. Take a, I can take a couple of the fringe ones out. Relatively painlessly. Okay. Tanker hat is going to be an issue. distance he can't get to us the one who's on the other side of the wall can't get to us 
Oh, he can. Yeah, he can jump. I forgot he could jump. That's okay. Oh, look at this. Beans. Boys. Just trying to get into your barracks. No need to be aggressive. Take a few jabs to the face, baby. We actually got some beans out of that. Field vest is ruined. Didn't even get cut. <sighs> Huge rucksack on that dude over there. Let's see, we we dragged quite a few away, didn't we? Oh shit, there was a gap there all along. Really? Oh, there was as well. Wow. Okay, we jumped the fence anyway though. Don't let a few Zeds put you off. If you can drag them over one, two at a time, they can be dealt with. I'm not going to take that backpack because it's just humongous. It's just a little bit ridiculous. Look at that. They've based off the garages. More beans. Well, we got really lucky with the food on the Zeds. Very lucky. Or seven by three nine. And it looks like this is lootable, at least. Oh my god, we've actually got a magazine with ammo in it. So far it's been worth coming to the prison only for food. <laughs> Pretty much. Bits, bits and pieces of ammo. Oh, look, there's another gun cleaning kit there as well. Some cuffs. Uh, there's an SSG mag with some rounds in it. We carry that because why not? Oh, some 380. Some 45. A scorpion mag. No actual guns so far. But bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. A lot of people would have been put off by the number of Zeds, see, so that's why it might feel unlooted around this area. Look at that, stab vest, pristine as well. Suddenly it's all worth it. I mean, God knows what's in there. They even had gear in here. Wow. There's some Zeds around the back that we don't want to fuck with. Or have they been trapped in here? No. Nope. That's based off. These sheds can spawn melee items, so don't don't overlook these sheds. There's some pants. And oh, no, there's a buttstock. Look a battery, more ammo, better pants for us. Still worn, pristine, pristine. I'm gonna get one of these beans down us before we head off. For the last sort of 20 minutes of the vid, I'll show you where I would go next. So we've got bits and pieces by coming to the prison. Don't get me wrong, gloves. We got the jacket on the way in the bunker, the little pillbox thing. We got some pants. We got a pristine stabby which is immense to be honest with you tons of ammo and we've got gun cleaning kits so we can pimp all these mags up but the issue we've got is that we've got nothing to nothing to put
the mags in. So no point pimping them up at the moment. So we know what we're going to be rolling with. Look at that, they put barbed wire along the gap. The absolute animals. Filthy animals. But look, someone has got in here. So there is a way out there. Look at that, they've gated off the gap in the fence there. And there. Oh, this is disgusting. Disgusting behaviour. Because what it, what it does, it inadvertently, well, it does make you... Oh my god, it makes you go the long way around, and I mean the long way around to leave. Oh no, someone's broken through this one. Good, good lads. And if you can just see in front of me, that's pretty much the next military area that I would go to after I've looted the prison. So even though there was a shit ton of zombies, we managed to loot the majority of the prison and come out of it with magazines, ammo, bit of food, better clothing on the whole. All right, it wasn't the best prison run I've ever done, but for the purposes of this loot run video, you might be playing on a server that's vanilla, but it doesn't allow base building. It might be a server like Day One, Day One Livonia, no bases. So you know, guaranteed, you're going to go to that prison. There's not going to be any off-limit off, off limit sites. There's not going to be people there uh, loot cycling and just holding down that prison selfishly, if you like, so that no one else can get anything. And you're going to probably come out of that prison with a minimum a Pioneer, Scorpion, Pump Action Shotgun with ammo. F with ammo for all of them, I would say. So... Plus, plus a stabby, a press vest, and if, you, if you've only just spawned up the road in Sabotka and now you're coming out 40 minutes later, that's not terrible. I've got the ability to fish, food, bits and pieces of ammo, blade, you know. I've had better starts. Some of these loot run videos that I've put out, I've been a lot more geared after 40 minutes, but it is what it is. You've got to, you've got to deal with the cards that you're dealt in Daisy. And I think for what we've been dealt, we could still go on an adventure here with this character. You know, we could get, obviously, our heads taken off crossing this road now. But there's the next area we want to go to. The military. There's broken down buildings here that will spawn military items, will spawn food, clothing, boots, the like. Oof. That zombie I thought was a player for a second. It's just a runner. Remember, we were behind someone at Sabotka, so that person went somewhere, and we saw how little loot there was at the prison. That was the area we heard getting gassed. And we heard the gas bomb drop. Very interested to see if our friend who we were tracking, so to speak, are we going to catch up to them in this military area for the last part of this loot run video? Could be interesting. We could be going out with a death on a loot run video. <laughs> Why not? Another blade if you needed it. Uh, we're not really massively keen to get anything. We've got a bit of food on us still. Let's just get up here and see if we can get a weapon that is better than the single shotgun we've got with one buckshot and the chambered, badly damaged IJ we've got. <laughs> we, are, we are not going to be pulling off many moves, many John Wick moves with that layout, with that loadout. That's for sure. But let's go in here. No fucks given. Balls to the wall. Obviously, the further inland you go, the better the loot. That's how the theory goes. I 
I was hoping to get in without triggering any Zeds. And when I say triggering, I don't mean using their wrong pronouns. I mean aggroing them. Because ideally... We want to make life easy for ourselves and not alert somebody who might be sitting in one of these barracks going through loot, sorting the loot out. If they are, we could be in trouble. Turning our back on them. See, I hear, see, I hear that other Zed aggro on me. But I still followed through with the stealth kill. Because I knew that way, I wouldn't have two on me at the same time. I'd only have one. Okay, no, it doesn't look like anyone's reacted to the noise yet that we've just made. We're not going to sort through our loot. We're just going to pick it up in our better bag. I don't want that handrail, whatever it's for. Right, back down to Crouchy Crouchy. When you, when you come here, you're going to have to deal with Zeds. You know, unless you come here armed to the teeth, you've got a suppressed weapon with tons of ammo and you can just go old John Wick on every Zed. You are going to have to deal with them manually. So be prepared for that. For some reason, the better tier loot I go for, better tier areas, seem to have the Zeds with the best ears. I don't know if that's deliberate. But look, I'm crouch walking. And this guy just picks me out. Anyway, and the other guy the other side of the wall is now like, yeah, I'll have a piece of that. Good thing about the brassies. Well, if anyone's here now, then we're dead. Oh, actually. Here's a thought. Just picked up a suppressor, didn't we? Look at the gun jamming instantly. Look at this guy. What are you doing, buddy? Got some Mosin ammo for me, though. It's a good lad. Took a little cut. Deal with that. Sometimes if you do pick up a pistol suppressor like we were lucky to find then. We knew that pit those suppress shots were not gonna aggro those Zeds far over there, so just use a couple of our bullets to deal with them. We got drop stuff here. That gas stove, dry bag, and all this shit does not spawn here. Like that. So someone dropped that. That someone could still be here. A bayonet. But it also tells me there's probably sweet F. Sweet FA loot left in these barracks. But again, we do these loot run videos just to show you the route I take, dependent on the spawn I get. So far, Sabotka to the prison. Very easy. You're not going to get lost. Once you're at the top of that main road in Sabotka, you can see the prison through the, through the trees. So you're not going to get lost. You might get killed along the way by geared people. That still might happen to me here, but... Oh, hello. 
Didn't even hear you, sir. You were so, uh, light on your feet. Oh. Oh. That's an invite to the party now. Boom. Giving him, giving the old Mike Tyson treatment. Boom. Oh, look at that bison mag full of 380 ammo. Well, 24 shots of it. Now, that is a hideous helmet because it shows up like a beacon. But at the moment, why wouldn't I put it on for my, my woolly hat? Oh my god. A weapon? A weapon, you say? The worn suppressor for it. What I'm gonna do? Drop that. Drop that. Uh, drop that. We're not gonna go down the 380 route for the purposes of this video. Just drop the bison. But we got some loose 45 already, so we can. We've got a pristine FX, pristine mag. Alright, that's better. I'd rather rock that than the shotgun, to be honest. I will keep the shotgun, though. Let's just open our box of 45 ready. Got ourselves a drinks canteen as well. Alright. Now we've got a reasonable backup. To our shotgun with one shot. The FX punch is quite nice actually. The fact the fact we got the suppressor for it is nice. Anybody home? BDU pants? Probably better than the pants we got. The old Daisy, you're not having your pants trick again. Swap over our stuff. Eh, not bothered about that. Little baby AK would be nice. Box of five four five. <laughs> not asking for much. Shh, go to sleep. Go to sleep, Prince Zombie. Uh, we love the the butt stocks. They're just fantastic. They're so useful. At this early stage of life. Anybody home? We're home. Oh, another handrail. Beautiful. Another flare, I mean, could be handy if you're going on a long journey. You want to stock up on these flares for when you f you're fishing and then making fires. No harm in taking a couple, I suppose. We've got one already. Nothing in the showers. Beautiful. Isn't there one barrack that we haven't checked yet? Maybe this one. Or did we check this one? And the door's shut. Oh, are they our pants that we've dropped? Am I being... Like idiotic now. Yeah, we did check this. Okay, so that's your military bit done, and I'm going to finish off of this loot run video, showing you a couple of options. Come out of here, you swing a right from the main gate. Now, if you're really new to, uh, oh my god, a light, a battery, and a light as well, a pistol, flashlight. If you're quite new to Livonia, you don't know where you ra your way around the map, there's a nice little handy road sign at the bottom of here. Obviously the prison was back that way. And Sabotka, where we spawned. And look at this, a handy road sign. So back to Brenner, that way, or Sabotka, where we spawned. 
So that's pretty uh, unproductive. We want to go this way, Lemborg and Radunin. Three clicks. Now Radunin is, is one of the permanently gassed sites, static gas zones on Livonia. So you're going to need a full NBC suit, six or seven full filters if you want to go in there and grab yourself some nice finds. But Lembork is a very nice military area. What are we, 55 minutes into this? Now if you were going to run four or five minutes, you probably would get to Radunin slash Lembork. You can just go up over the top that way. That takes you sort of to Tarnow up there. But if you want to go on an adventure and you want to go down south, you're looking to get all the get out to all the nice bits and pieces. This is the way you would come. Look a beautiful Livonia. Now the only problem I've got with this character is I've got one rag. I've got disinfectant on me, so I can disinfect the rags to make bandages. But I really should have been keeping an eye on my bandage situation and cutting up other rags that I find. Or, like when I drop my police pants, I should cut them up into rags, disinfect the stack of rags. That's what you would do in that situation. If you were going to take this character on and make this one of those long runs down south, you would be definitely cutting up at least a stack of six rags and adding them to that disinfectant, combining them with the disinfectant. And then you'd have a full stack of disinfected bandages. But I'm just going to take you up to the hour mark along this road. The road that I would take if I was going to go for Radunin slash Lembork. You'll hit Radunin first. And then when you go around the gas, it basically takes you to Lembork. You can't go wrong. Um, but be beware. You can get hit by wolves on this road, so if you haven't got a weapon with a, with a stack of ammo, you're going to possibly get yourself in a bit of a predicament. Keep an eye out for heli crashes as well. Heli crash spawns both sides of this road. You might get really, really lucky. And if you were starving and you didn't have the ability to fish like I did, like I have, I'm sure in the background you've heard along the way the deer, boar, the wild animals that we've become accustomed to love as further we go inland and down south on Livonia. So if you've got a way of clipping one of those animals with a green slug in a shotgun or a, a round of 7x39 in a BK, go hunting. Get yourself a stag, get yourself a nice fire in the woods and get yourself well fed before you go further south. I'm a bit of a Livonia buff, a bit of a survival buff. And so I like to challenge myself going south as quick as I can. I don't I don't need in my eyes for for my satisfaction, if you like, for it to feel like a challenge. I don't need to be geared to the teeth. I'd rather go down south with less Oh, there you go. There's a wolf. I'd rather go down south with less. They missed all those shots. You're joking. Wolfie. Oh, he's a tough son of a bitch. Not that tough, though. Fucking fumbled those couple of wolves there, didn't I? But I got, I got away with it. They didn't cut me. Yeah, and if you're starving and that happens, then uh, happy days. So deliver room! As we say, let's see what we get from this guy because I butchered my shots, but it's still no look one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steaks. The fat combine the bones to the bones we've got. You've already got 10. There's more rope there if you want it. 
but my god, it, I don't half shit my pants. However many times that happens to me, I don't half shit my pants when a wolf hits me. So this is me an hour after leaving Sabotka and going through the prison. We've got a helmet. Okay, it's crap, but we've got some military gear. We're going to need to look out for shoes or boots, although they're still pristine. We've got some gloves. We've got a decent backpack. We've got a pistol, which is suppressed, and we have got ammo to fill this magazine now that we killed the wolf with the chambered version just because I knew it would only take a couple of hits of 45 to put him down. We've used our one buckshot now which is a bit of a shame so our FX pistol is our only weapon but unless you're a madman like me you might not want to leave and go down south with just the pistol but I don't care I've got some food, I've still got my melee, I've got my rope and bones for fishing. I've picked up more food now to go on top of our chicken. So I would probably take a, a breather now, stop and cook somewhere because of the rain. Find the next available building with a fire, light it with the flare, happy days. I need more than this one disinfected rag that we've got. So I'd be on the lookout for more clothing to cut up and then disinfect. Because we haven't got any bandages on us at the moment, only that one rag now. How many more rounds of 45 have we got? Nine more rounds after the after this is being done and dusted. And yeah, that is Sabotka down towards Radunin via the prison. And you could tinker with that loot run. If you get Gliniska or Brenner, you're not a million miles away from the prison. Particularly Gliniska. You can see the prison from Gliniska. And I hope you've enjoyed. It's a, just something chill that I want to upload this week because I know I'm probably not going to be able to do the intense stuff for a week or so. If I do get a gap in the schedule and I do manage to squeeze in an hour, then I will get part one of Michael up for you on Sunday. I'll do my very best. But in the meantime, just a little bit of content. The beautiful weather of Livonia comes down on my head. And that's a pretty decent start from Sabotka with not a lot of loot to gather we've still come out with it in decent shape to go on a bit of an adventure and thanks for watching thanks for all the support and I'll check out you guys in the next video see you later adios